So if you're working out, you do want to support with some glutamine because it can help repair that gut intestinal layer and prevent the gut permeability where you have the tight junction proteins, protein junctions, that would allow plastics to get through. Zinc supplementation, 25 milligrams per day, can help tremendously with that gut barrier integrity. But then we go to the things you may want to consider avoiding. I talk on this channel a lot about polysorbate 80, 20, and 60. These are emulsifiers that are literally in so many foods, but quite virtually used in research to induce intestinal inflammation because they basically emulsify the gut lining. So when you take polysorbates, emulsifiers, you're making it so plastics can absorb easier if you're not careful. I don't know why this stuff is in food, and just because there's not a lot of human trials showing the danger of it, we know mechanistically what it does. They use it on rats, they use it in all kinds of studies with animals to literally induce inflammation by damaging the gut. So that would be a great thing to avoid. Of course, also reducing stress.